If I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Uh, we are going to work on something called a spot. It's a camera kind of hooked up to my iSmart alarm and all of a sudden it stopped working. So let's see if we can figure it out. Two little screws here. It's an electronic device. It's been in my living room for no idea why. All of a sudden it would fail. You know what? Let's put these little screws in a container. I'm sure this thing just snaps together. Yeah. So, what's next? Looks like this back piece comes off. Boy, is that tiny. How oh, they can cram a lot of stuff in there. Right, let's see if we can get this piece off here. Be careful not to poke yourself with a screwdriver trying to get it in here, but oh there we go, there's one side. Oh, there's the back. Oh, there's a wire on, on it. Oh the speaker. Let's see if we can unplug it. wasn't easy but it's off. Hey, silver cap I gotta pull off. Hmm. It's like some type of a vibration sensor. But let's see here. Two screws on that circuit board. Disconnect that ribbon cable in in the back. Now this should come out. Well, there are going to be some small people working on this circuit board here. Another cable there. Well, that's odd. Can you see all that burnt stuff there? Here, maybe let's let's go to my microscope. We'll get a better shot of it. Well, as you can see up top there, those look pretty burnt or corroded or what so I'm going to clean it and I hope it didn't affect the circuit board already it might have but we'll try
so this is just your normal um, head cleaner, but it's safe for electronics. doesn't look too bad. A lot better. I was wondering what maybe where it got all of that stuff there. It's unbelievable. Never throw out your toothbrush. Circuit board's all nice and shiny, cleaned up, and, uh, well, I sure hope damage hasn't been done already. Let's see. Without tearing apart more of this, I was just going to hook it up to see if it was fixed. Let's get that plugged back in, and guess what? That just broke off. Looks like it was just glued on. Well, i got to remove some of this glue to get to the circuit board, I hope, or... Uh... Something metal, there's something metal. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun to solder. Ah, but there's something there anyways, I can got it down to metal. Let's Turn on the old soldering iron, get that going. Well, see if I can solder that tiny little wire on. Up to temperature. Didn't need much, but boy, one thing after another with this. Okay, it's it's on it now. Bother plugging it, putting that cap on, or should I test it first? Before I was getting a red light blinking, tell me to either uh, unplug it for 10 seconds and it'll reset itself, but that didn't work, or call customer support. Well, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna go well. And that plug back in. Well, it's still blinking red, but, well, maybe I gotta go a little bit further down into the circuit board. Yeah, it's still blinking red. Well, take it apart again. Let's see. Guess I gotta go further down. I was hoping it was gonna be maybe that corroded stuff there. So, further down, okay, two screws, wow, one, two, three, four, four screws for that little circuit board. And then this one, for some reason they got tape over it. Those two are shorter. And don't you love it? They can't use the same size of screw at all, eh? Let's mix it up. Okay, so what do we got going here? Mmm. Mmm, for a 
is such a small device, boy, they can sure put screws in here. Okay. Mm, there's even more screws in here. Wow. Well, I guess I can see why the thing is $100. There's quite a bit of stuff in there. But again, I don't see anything wrong. Well, since we're here, let's take off these two screws and take a look at the back side of this circuit board. And you never know. Mmm, boy, that sure doesn't look clean there. I'm just amazed how this got so corroded and dirty. Um, it sits in my living room. But, yeah, there's quite a few spots on this circuit board, so we'll clean this circuit board up and cross your fingers. Now, this, I'm just going to remove this ribbon cable and make sure it's where it's supposed to be. It's all apart so I might as well just double check everything is normal here. Okay. Mm, that went in there pretty good. Now let's get this. Let me just get a couple of screws on that, hold that board together. And let's put some power on. Be careful, it's it's not out of the box, so even 5 volts will give you a heck of a shock. And believe it or not, that other cable came off. <laughs> okay, so I gotta now solder the black one. Okay. Well, it's still beeping red, but yeah, folks, this doesn't look like I fixed it. And you get all this circuit board stuff, you wonder what the heck could go wrong. It's sitting in my living room for five years. And I have it on a UPS, so it's not like I can take a power hit. Well, whatever I could try, I tried cleaning the circuit board, replugging in everything. I just don't know why it all of a sudden failed after five years. So, um, I guess that's a lesson to be learned. You can't fix everything. Sometimes you have to go out and buy. What a Okay, so um, this will have to go in the, the kaput pile, and yeah, that's it. Use it for parts. I don't know what parts I can get off it. A few small screws, that's about it. A tiny little speaker. But yeah, that's the last time you're going to see it. Goodbye.